to uh, discuss the likely outcome of the election. So we can now cross live to Marcos Papadopoulos, publisher of uh, and editor of Politics First magazine, joins us. Thank you, Marcus. Um, now, as we've heard, millions of people have uh, boycotted this vote. Given that, just how legitimate can they be considered? Ukraine's elections were a total and utter farce and an insult to so much of the Ukrainian population. Ever since the Western-backed coup this February in Ukraine, the pro-Western government of uh, President Poroshenko has rolled back democracy in the country. The two traditionally dominant political forces in southeastern Ukraine, the Party of Regions and the Communist Party of Ukraine, have effectively been destroyed as political forces in the country. They have been singled out as traitors. They have been referred to as agents of Moscow. They have been expelled from the Ukrainian parliament. They have been subjected to violence and intimidation. And so it's little surprise that millions of Ukrainians in South, East, in South Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine, chose not to vote. They chose not to vote because their traditional parties were not on the ballot paper. And they're also very fearful. If we take the Communist Party of Ukraine, its leader, Petro Simonenko, at the beginning of, his, of this year, his home was set on fire um, uh, by ultra-nationalist mobs. Now, you won't hear about that in Western media. Certainly, the BBC never referred to that because it doesn't fit in to the West's narrative of what's happening in Ukraine. So uh, only, in, only on paper does Ukraine have democracy. In reality, it is very selective, and it is only for those parties in the country which are pro-Western. But Marcus, I mean, the accusation before was that the, you know the government that, that was in situ wasn't legitimate because it, it came to power courtesy of the coup. But now we've had these elections. Are we not going to see the West now saying these are legitimate? This is the new face of Ukraine, and you need to accept it. Certainly, the West, the, the, those Western governments, uh, the Americans in, in particular, they will now project. Ukraine as a democratic country and as a country which has made its choice and that it wants to be with the uh, with the West. Now, as I said, on paper, that seems to be the case. A closer examination will reveal that's completely untrue. Millions of people in Ukraine did not vote. The voter turnout was extremely low. And the two traditional parties of Ukraine in southeastern Ukraine, uh, the Party of Regions and the Communist Party of Ukraine, were absent. It's like going to America and having a presidential election um, and then not being the Republican or Democratic parties. It's absolutely ludicrous. But then again, the West isn't genuinely committed to democracy. It's very selective. And if it was so genuine about the concept of democracy and human rights, it wouldn't have such a close strategic relationship with Saudi Arabia, which is the complete opposite of democracy and human rights. Okay, thanks for coming on to speak to us. That's Marcus Papadopoulos, publisher and editor of Politics First magazine. Thank you.